it's time to get healthy. We have Shine back in the studio for Health Matters. Let's see what she has to say. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, where'd you go? Um, uh, I went on a five days long vacation to Bohol Island in Cebu, Philippines. Ooh. And I just, just enjoy doing nothing on the beach. Oh, <laughs> wow. Sounds very relaxing um, because usually you, you're always doing something, you know, very, very active, uh, you know, all week long and on the weekends, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm very uh, fully charged and refreshed. Okay. Um, it's New Year and uh, that means you are one year older than last year. Ah, uh, yes. According to Korean culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that means your metabolism is slower than it was in 2015. <laughs> no. <laughs> As you age, you, your metabolism naturally slows down. Mm. So today, I will share some of the exercises you can do to boost your metabolism. Oh, so sad. Now that we're really depressed. But what are some signs of our metabolism slowing down? All right. Here you go. <laughs> First of all, it's easier for me to gain weight than I did a year ago. Oh, so true and so sad. Yeah. Second one, I can't Mm -hmm. lose weight no matter how much I exercise. (laughs) So sad. You know, I have clients that uh, that run like really long distance. Yes. um, Every day. Yes. And they couldn't lose weight. (gasps) And I've seen many men who hit the gym every day for like two hours Uh and can't lose the beer gut. Oh, that's you know, so sad. What's oh the goodness. sign? Maybe your metabolism is slowing down. Mm. Number three, I'm not, I'm, I'm noticing fat in areas I've never had it before. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have those trouble spots, mm-hmm. the little bubbles, mm-hmm. uh, where we always tend to you know, gain and lose weight. But if you are starting to gain fat in new areas, this could be a sign of sluggish metabolism. <sighs> And lastly, I've got cellulites in new places. Oh no, like that's like every woman's like worst <laughs> enemy, right? Yeah, like 40% of women, even a lot of very fit women, have some um, cellulites on the back of their thighs and hips. Okay. But if you're starting to notice it on the top, on front of your thighs or mm. other areas, yes. that's a metabolic red flag. <sighs> okay, now that I'm thoroughly depressed, <laughs> uh, I have cellulite, I have fat in areas. Like, I never had fat on my tummy area before, but I've no- I'm noticing a little bit creeping on, so I'm a little mm-hmm. worried. So um, tell us, so what should we be doing then? Uh, yeah, if, you, if any of these are struggles you are currently facing, then you might be wondering what steps you can take to boost your metabolism this okay. new year. Certainly eating right and getting enough sleep can help, but there are some fitness-specific guidelines you want to keep in mind for a noticeable metabolism boost. Mm. Specifically, studies have found that combining cardiovascular exercise with strength training is generally the best way to increase metabolism and edi- at any age. Mm-hmm. With that in mind, I put together some specific exercise combinations that will be worth incorporating into your regular workout routine for excellent results. Okay, so we're ready. Let's go. First of all, lunges and jumping jacks. Okay. The nice thing about lunges is that there are plenty of variation uh, from which to choose. Yes. So you, you should never get bored working them into your daily workout routine. Mm-hmm. Um, so for, from t- traditional lunges and reverse lunges to lunges with side twists, mm-hmm. with weights, you know, there are so many uh, ways to strengthen your lower body with lunges. Okay. So uh, do about 10 to 15 lunges of your choice and do about 30 to 50 seconds of jumping jack right after. Oh. Take a short break mm-hmm. and repeat this routine three to five sets. And you've got yourself an excellent combination of strength training and cardio. And I love this idea because you don't need anything. You just need your body mm-hmm. and some, like, you know, shoes. And you're ready to go, right? Yep. And mm. it's, it, the idea is really simple, mm. you know. So uh, you can come up with anything. Then you can absolutely do it without any equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, so another great combination is squats and stair climbing. Ooh. You know, squats are another very versatile strength building exercise uh, when paired with intervals of cardio mm-hmm. can be extremely effective in kicking up your metabolism. Ah. Do about 10 to 20 squats either with your body or extra weights. Sure. Paired with running up 
and down a flight of stairs for 30 <laughs> to 50 seconds Ooh. and repeat this routine for three to five sets. Mm. And it makes a, a great muscle building and cardio combination. Wow. So uh, what about for like very, very beginners? Uh, if you're a beginner, you can make a lower impact routine such as just a plank mm-hmm. and jogging in place. And planks are not that simple. If you do them in the beginning, like even mm-hmm. doing 30 seconds to a minute, it's kind of difficult. Yeah. Right. So like, why don't you try 30 seconds of plank mm-hmm. and 30 seconds of jogging in place? Okay. You know, it's totally up to you. Uh, or if you're a higher, if you want a higher impact, right? Try five sets of 10 push-ups and 10 burpees. Oh, that's tough. I'm sure no matter how <laughs> fit you are, your heart will be pumping very, very hard. Oh my gosh. I can't even do like, I can't, I'm not good at push-ups. I mean, I have to admit, like, I've been working on that. So I'm not great at push-ups. And burpees are tough if you can't do push-ups either. But anyhow, Mm -hmm. you can do the the so-called, I have air quote, the so-called, like, you know, easier push-ups too with your knees, right? Yes. Yes. Some people call them the girl push-ups, but the the easier push-ups, right? If you can improvise, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Mm. Anything else? Um, You know, the idea is to break out of your daily routine Mm. and try different routines to boost your metabolism. Ah. So don't think of it as a huge change. You know, start from where you are and try one at a time. All right. So I certainly hope that our listeners got some good tips there. And um, I don't know. So is it cool to like mix things up? It's okay, right? You can do like... uh, like, for example, you said lunges and jumping jacks one day and then do the squats and stair climbing the next day? Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then usually I com- I have these, like, sets of workouts, like maybe four to five different workouts. Right. And make about 40 minutes workouts. Oh, yeah. sounds good. Well, you know, we're all getting older. We can't avoid it. So uh, we might as well face it. We're getting older. Our metabolism slowing down. But uh, now that Shine has given us some good tips... I hope that we can get our metabolism going again. Thank you, and it's great to see you, see you, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, goodbye. Okay, once again, that was Shine with Health Matters. I'll be back.